This just in, Blumhouse have made a horror version of Drop Dead Fred. I guess life can still surprise you sometimes. Drop Dead Fred is also kind of a horror film in its own way, but if I had to rewatch that or Imaginary again, God, what a horrible film this was. And I can hear you asking, why did you even bother? Why did you go watch this film? Because this is my hobby. I enjoy watching the latest releases, most of them, and doing these videos and telling you my thoughts on them. It keeps me sane even when the films themselves drive me insane. Okay, look, if you're gonna make a film centered around the concept of imagination as a plot device, plot point, whatever, don't write the most horribly generic, cliched pile of shit script possible because you just open yourself up to the no imagination ridicule and rightfully so. The story in here with the stepmom stepdaughter attempts at bonding, the moody teenage daughter who hates the stepmom, the demon thing attaching itself to the little girl, you've seen it all 7,216 times before. Character development, the story beats, the dialogue, it's all exactly what you think it's going to be when you hear what the actual film's about. It feels like it, <laughs> I want to say it feels like it was written by an AI but that would literally be the 15th time I've said that about a film in the past six months. So for the sake of repetition, I'm not gonna say that. I'm just gonna say the writers, and I understand, writing a script, not easy. But when it's this generic and this formulaic and this rinse and repeat, I just, I just gotta ask if the writers were even trying. There's been a lot of discourse recently about online film criticism and how harsh people should be when talking about a film, reviewing a film, trying to be respectful to the filmmakers because yes, filmmaking is really difficult. I understand that, I appreciate that, I respect that. I think Hollywood needs to be told when the films they're putting out in cinemas are just not good enough because this is our time and our money that we're investing in watching these films. And when they're this terrible, this horrendously bad, it's a waste of time and money. And I get that they respond more to the box office dollar sign numbers than assholes like me on the internet complaining and whining about it. And I'm not exactly helping the cause by going to watch this film and giving it money. So Jason Blum, in the unlikely event that you watch this video, I'm really, really sorry for giving this film money. So yeah, imagination, horrible film, stepmom, stepdaughter storyline we've seen a thousand times over with nothing new or compelling brought to it. And as a horror film, in terms of the scares, I mean, were there even scares in this? Were they even trying to scare people in this? The Chauncey voice was kind of creepy sometimes. I'll give it that one little tiny thing. Apart from that, a big CGI bear chasing people in this imaginary realm of whatever in the third act. Not enough to get me to even remotely be scared. Which is funny, the climax of this film actually reminded me of the climax of Drop Dead Fred. You know, where they go to the imagination realm and they're confronting manifestations of their past and whatnot. Literally the climax of imaginary, but a horror version. No scares, no tension, no atmosphere, no imagination. You remember the teaser trailer where it tells you to close your eyes and listen to the horror sounds and imagine what's making them? Well, when you watch this film, you're gonna to wanna to close your eyes and imagine a much better film than the one you're actually watching on the silver screen. All super easy ridicule, but when the film is this horrible, it's just way too easy. Do better, Hollywood. Do better, Blumhouse. Don't watch this film. Just don't do it.